If you're ever curious about who you are, where you came from, and what's in store for your future, all you need to do is look in the mirror. We're not trying to be metaphoric or symbolic. Your body features can tell you a lot about who you are. For example, your genetics are reflected in your appearance since you resemble members of your family. There are traits that are passed down and remain a constant throughout generations. Your nose may actually be centuries old. As we grow and change, we evolve to adjust to our changing environment. As we go through different body features that reveal who you are, be sure to tell us your story in the comments. Fingers Look at your hands and take a peek at your fingers. Look at their shape, how your nail sits on the bed, and the length. You might think that the shape of your fingers hold nothing significant. Well, take a harder look because your fingers can tell you a lot about your personality. If you have a straight finger, then you are a strong and resilient person who doesn't like to show their emotions but has a big heart. If you have big knuckles, then you might be a person who doesn't like to hold grudges nor do you like getting into confrontations with people. If your fingers are pointed, then you are a loyal person who has a creative side, plus you're trustworthy and very dedicated to your goals and desires. After you're done looking at your own fingers, take a look at your friends and family and see if their personalities are consistent with their finger shape. Skin Tone Skin tone doesn't just determine your ethnicity, it can also tell the world what kind of lifestyle you live and what kind of personality you have. When looking at skin tone, you have to look at the undertones in order to get a good idea of lifestyle and genetics. If you have a reddish or pink undertone, it means that you have good circulation in your body and might also live an active lifestyle. If you're a woman, having a rosy pink undertone could say a lot about your fertility as well, due to a hormone called estradiol which dilates blood vessels in the face. If you have a golden undertone, that means that you eat a pretty healthy diet because you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Of course, cultural differences will impact skin tones as well, based on what part of the world your ancestors are from. Width of your face Face shapes are a fascinating concept and they tell us a lot about ourselves. Unless you wear glasses or you're trying to pick out the right haircut or makeup contouring, most people don't really think about the width of their face. There are four categories, oval, round, square, and heart. There are a plethora of factors that can determine how wide your face is, including genetics, diet, and lifestyle. But it is also possible that your face shape can tell you a lot about your personality. For example, people with wider face and bigger cheekbones tend to respond to conflict and have a higher amount of testosterone and tend to be more aggressive. Those with narrower faces tend to avoid conflict and confrontation. This has led to a belief among scientists that there was an evolutionary benefit to having a wider face and that their smaller faced counterparts had disadvantages when it came to status and wealth. Belly Button what exactly can a belly button tell us about ourselves? Technically, the belly button is a scar from the umbilical cord, and it stays with us for the rest of our lives. Even though we get our belly buttons the same way, they are not equal. We have affectionately named our belly buttons innies and outies and they also come in different shapes and positions. According to some studies, the position of your belly button can help determine how fast you run. If you're a woman, how surfaced or cavernous your belly button is can determine your fertility. If you're an overweight and hairy man, your belly button can tell you the state of your health depending on how much lint comes out of it. But what's even scarier is the amount of bacteria in our belly buttons. Researchers have said that there could be as many as 1,400 different strains of bacteria in that tiny little hole. Windows to the Soul they say that the eyes are the windows to the soul, and while it may be just a phrase, there seems to be some truth. We're not talking about metaphors, but actual scientific research. Mats Larsson at the Erebru University in Sweden discovered a significant connection between iris patterns and personality traits. Using over 400 volunteers, Larsson had each person take a standard personality test and compared the results. He also studied the frequency of crypts in a person's eye 
eyes, which are the squiggly lines that come out of the pupil, as well as furrows, which are the circular lines on the outer edge of the iris. The more distinct one's furrows and crypts were, the more impulsive that person could be. If there was a lower frequency, then the person was more tender and warm-hearted. Also, at Pittsburgh University, it was discovered that women who had lighter eye colors were more likely to experience more pain during childbirth. The Behind we all have a behind, and as most of us have probably noticed, there are so many different kinds of bottoms out there in the world. They come in four different shapes, heart, square, inverted, and round. Why are the shapes important? It's much more than just for aesthetic, and in fact, there is some science behind these different shapes. The shape of your behind will determine how your body stores fat, what your lifestyle is like, and what's in store for your future. For example, the inverted V-shaped bottom signifies a reduction in estrogen in women and shows that the fat is moving to the other parts of the body. The round or heart-shaped bottoms are more desirable in terms of looks but are also healthier because the fat is evenly dispersed and away from the heart. In other words, there's some genetics involved but diet and exercise can also change your bottom significantly. Sounds of your voice the voice you have after puberty is pretty much your voice for the rest of your life. The sound of your voice can actually say a lot about who you are. For the obvious, men are born with larger folds in their vocal cords, which is why men have a deeper voice than women. If you're sick, your cords will swell up. If you're a smoker, then your cords are affected and might have a raspy sound. However, the way we speak is a direct reflection of our upbringing as well. We tend to mimic the vocal patterns of our parents, and they developed their vocal habits in the same way. That means your tone with certain phrases can be a direct result of your family history. A simple term that caught on generations ago could still live on in you. If you're grown up, you have probably caught yourself sounding exactly like your parents. Thank genetics and your environment. Feeling cheeky. Cheeks are adorable when they're on babies, but if we keep having plump cheeks as we grow older, then it could indicate a lingering health issue. The cheeks on our face are more than just something to be pinchable. They can actually reveal a lot about the state of your health thanks to their connection with BMI and mental health. According to researcher Benedict Jones from Glasgow University, if you have larger cheeks, you're more likely to be anxious or depressed. Also, having larger cheeks means that you could be more vulnerable to getting sick and catching infections. Not only that, but the infections and illnesses are more likely to last longer than for those who have smaller cheeks. If you're overweight, then it's possible your cheeks are affected as well. In fact, Jones says that measuring cheeks may be more reliable than the standard body measurement system when it comes to assessing health. The Nose Nose Noses are one of the most obvious traits when it comes to genetics and ethnicity. But according to a study that was published in 2013 by the Journal of Craniofacial Surgery, the nose can tell us a lot about our personalities. If you have a large nose, that means you're self-reliant, confident, and a born leader. If you have a long nose, then you're intuitive, creative, and very decisive. If you have a large tip at the end of your nose, you might be involved in money somehow and are very conscious on how money is spent. If you have a neutral tip, then you're more likely to be mild-tempered and endearing. If a man has a nose cleft, then that means that he might not want to commit to something serious. If the nostrils are large, then the person is generous with their money, whereas someone with smaller nostrils might be more of a penny pincher. Down to your feet since we started with the tips of our fingers, it is only natural to end with our feet. Our twinkle toes can tell us a lot about our character traits and all we need to do is look down. If you have the common foot, also known as the Roman foot, where the feet are balanced and proportioned, that means you are sociable and like to open yourself up to new experiences. If you have the square foot, that means that you think about every decision you make with such care, which makes you practical and reliable. If you have the stretched foot, meaning your foot is elongated, it could indicate that you're private, you are impulsive, and you could change your mood a lot. Finally, if you have the flame foot, meaning that your second toe is longer than the rest, then you are probably a sporty and active person who loves new ideas and motivates people around them. What do you think? Did you learn a little more about yourself? Tell us in the comments whether these researchers got their information right. 
If you enjoyed this video, then use that finger of personality to click on that red subscribe button and be the first to know every time The Hub posts a new video.